Hey everyone, we are back today doing another unboxing video. Uh, today we have the Foresight Falcon launch monitor. Uh, it's Foresight's newest launch monitor that they just put out. It's brand new to us here. It is large. Um, we were picking it up before. This thing is very heavy. Feels like it's a really substantial launch monitor. I'm really excited to see what's in this. So I guess without further ado, let's open it up. All right, so let's cut this open. Uh, initially, I see on the outside, there's all these fragile handle with care stickers. Um, big stickers right here that say, do not discard, um, keep the box and all the contents just in case there's an issue and you have to return it. So make sure you're not throwing any anything away that you're pulling out of here. Um, so I guess let's cut into it carefully here. All right, so opening it up, try to get this out of the way. All right, so we've got the box rotated around so you all can see what's inside here. So this might be a little awkward for me to see what's going on, but it makes it better so you can see everything that's in here. Uh, so right away, you've got the actual Falcon launch monitor. Uh, so there's a cardboard graphic up here that shows what you're getting, tells you everything that's in the box. And then there's a QR code over here that'll take you to download the Foresight app. Let's see if I can get this out of here over the top of the box. Oh my gosh, it's, this launch monitor is so heavy. So, so heavy. Ah, but you can see it's wrapped in protective plastic so you don't have to worry about smudging it up as you're unboxing it and everything. It will still look nice and pretty for you. Okay. So under the foresight, it looks like they have this little compartment. What's this? What's this? Oh, okay. Uh, so in here, you've got the quick start guide um, and then another QR code. I'm assuming it's something similar to that QR code and instructions for calibration as well. So all sorts of instructions are included in here. And then is there anything underneath? No, nope, that's gonna be it for that. Put that off to the side and it looks like this is the, I don't know what the technical term is for it, but with the Hawk, we always called it just the calibration wand that you use to uh, calibrate everything once installation is complete. And this is all packaged really well in here. Uh, you've got an accessory box. Well, that's accessory box two, it's labeled as. So I'm assuming that's, ooh, it is accessory box one. Inside of accessory box one, looks like there's uh, power and data cables that you'll use during the installation process. And let's see, what do we have? Some T's. Um, a USB cable, uh, plastic that is clearly labeled, not a handle. And then uh, this, I believe, is a dispenser for putting stickers on your golf clubs uh, for if you're going to be using club data. So that looks like that is, unless I'm missing something, which I am, there's something hidden in here as well. Oh, okay, the mounting plate to actually get the uh, launch monitor secured and up on the ceiling. And I think that's everything that's actually in the box. Again, this is really like heavy duty packaging. There's nice dense foam to protect everything. I mean, this is really well packaged. So that is everything included in the package. I'm gonna get this giant box, which in itself is quite heavy out of the way here so we can take a little bit better look. I really want to see the Falcon itself. Let me put this down here. So let's take a look at the Falcon. Um, like I said, it comes in this plastic wrap so that you don't get it all smudged up as you're doing the unboxing. But you know what? Let's smudge it up. I want to see this. There we go. So there it is. 
the Falcon. Let me turn it around so you can get a better look at it. Everything I understand about this, it's essentially a Hawk, but just in a more compact version um, without the ability to do the, the soccer game. Um, it looks great. It's definitely a much smaller launch monitor. Um, like I said before, it is really heavy. This is a lot of metal goes into the construction of it. So it's not just you know, cheap plastic body or anything. Um, there's a lot of metal on here. I'm just looking at the components on the back here. It looks like, let's see on the back, there's a power switch, which it's actually weird to say, but that's a really cool looking little power switch on the back. Uh, the actual power cable or uh, data cable um, looks like this is a way to make sure your your launch monitor is secure to the mounting plates. You can see inside here you have all the uh, IR or infrared lights. Looks like how many cameras? Four cameras, two in the middle, two off to the side. Yeah, it's a great looking launch monitor. It said, from what I understand, it's everything you get in the Hawk, but just more compact. You still get all the data points that you would with the Hawk. Um, the biggest difference is this one is golf only. The Hawk, you have the option to do the soccer multi-sport. This one, you can't do that with. So that is everything included with the Foresight Falcon launch monitor. Like we talked about, the, the packaging that comes with it is heavy. It's really substantial. It's going to keep it nice and secure en route to you. Um, and then the launch monitor itself, it's just a great looking launch monitor. Uh, I've heard fantastic reviews so far and I can't wait to get this up and try it out. So we really hope to do some testing with this in the future. Sometimes the launch monitors that use infrared um, can interfere with each other if you've got a few of them running at the same time. So we're hoping to put this to the test up against maybe a radar launch monitor like a, a full swing kit or uh, Mevo Plus or something along those lines to see how this stacks up. Ideally, what we'd like to do is put this up against the TrackMan IO, uh, two of the top of the line overhead launch monitors that are out there right now. So. Fingers crossed that we're able to get that to work. Um, if so, keep an eye out in the future for some more videos. If you wanna see future videos involving the Falcon, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next one.